master sent you, didn't he? Of course. My shame is complete. This war, I wasn't ready. I never should have left Tython. Put your fears behind you. We need to defend this base. I can't go out there. You don't know what I'm capable of. When the Empire first invaded, the soldiers here captured some Imperial scouts. Brought them to me for interrogation. The prisoners angered me. I killed them. Lied about what happened. When Imperial forces arrived outside, I hurled the corpses at them. Revealed my true face. Master Braga told me about your past. He said you embraced the light side. I thought I'd changed. I want to. But this war... The only reason I stayed is because an Imperial officer recognized me. Called me by my old name. Said the Emperor's wrath is coming. He's sending his personal executioner for me. His wrath incarnate. I will be punished for my crimes. Who is the Emperor's wrath? A Sith Lord? A ghost. Older than anyone except the Emperor himself. Even the Dark Council fears him. Fighting would accelerate my return to the dark side. I'd rather die with Jedi teachings in my heart. The last thing we need is him going dark side in here. We'll have to save this base without him. Lieutenant Gundo, 86th Infantry. You're here just in time. We got Imperial forces massing outside. My engineers jury rigged some ray shields, but it'll take time to seal the base. Unless you people hold the main entrance, we're dead. Please. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I can't fight them. You made this mess. You'll help clean it up. Arm yourself. Move! Falling in defense of others would be a good death. We're out of time. Imperials are coming through. Defend the main entrance. <laughs> We did it! With the ray shields up, we can hold out until reinforcements get here. Then we kill our enemies. Yes. Destroy them to the last man. No. No. That's not... I told you. I shouldn't have done this. Hang on. We've got movement outside the ray shield. Who is that? What a mystery the Force can be. I came seeking a traitor, but found you instead. The time draws near. You're not making any sense. Do you know me, Sam? Many know your name. Some whisper it, others shout it. I alone recognize what it means. You're strong and touched by darkness. That is unexpected. An advantage? Possibly. You may keep the Dark Council traitor. I smell his weakness. He'll die by his own hand, given the chance. What will your master say when you return empty-handed? I'll bring him news of his most hated enemy. The traitor will be forgotten. The Emperor must hear of our meeting. I won't disappoint him with delays. Farewell for now. So that was the Emperor's Wrath. Fun nickname. That other Jedi seemed pretty upset. Maybe you ought to talk to him while we secure things here. The Emperor's Wrath is gone. He isn't coming back for you. I had no doubts about myself during that battle. I felt good. Clean. Free. Nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know what to do. I have killed dozens, maybe hundreds of Imperials. Am I evil? No. To win, we must kill the enemy before they kill us. Master Braga doesn't understand that, but I do. If you can be what's necessary, a weapon to destroy all who threaten the Republic, then you'll be a hero. You should run for the Senate. You fit right in. You're asking me to do exactly what the Empire commanded. 
defend its civilization at all costs. I'm not asking you to slaughter innocent civilians, but anyone in a uniform is fair game. My master sent you to me, but you are so different from him. Master Braga says one thing and you say the opposite, but I feel the truth of your words. I'll meditate on your guidance. Please tell my master I'm all right. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, your Padawan and the Republic base are safe. The Imperials attacked, but I drove them off. Sajar had a crisis of confidence, but I set him on the right path. He isn't afraid to fight anymore. That may be so, but Quesh is no place for a Padawan. I'll have him transported somewhere safe. Thank you for confirming Sajar as well. Do you have anything else to report? The Emperor's personal executioner was hunting your Padawan. I sent him away empty-handed, but he said we'd meet again. What do you know about this Emperor's Wrath? The Council has heard that title, but little more. I'm sure his interest in you is related to the Darth Anquil incident. Our strike team is pursuing a new goal on the ice planet Hoth. We're up against pirates and Imperials there. We need your help. Travel to Hoth and contact Jedi Knight Leha Norez. She'll explain more. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, out. This is Jedi Knight Leha Norez. Please identify. Master Tall Braga sent me to help you. I already received word of your success on Balmora. Glad you're here. As if Hoth wasn't hostile enough, I'm contending with the Empire and White Maw pirates of all things. Why can't I land on the planet? What's so dangerous about it? Hoth's daytime temperatures freeze most vehicle engines. After dark, anything alive caught outdoors doesn't last long. Stay close to me, Kira. I'll keep you from freezing. You in what army? Hoth's one of the largest starship graveyards in the galaxy. During the war, there was a massive battle in orbit. Dozens of vessels crashed to the surface. Because of the freezing cold, they remained well preserved. Some are almost intact. Our objective's in that starship graveyard, isn't it? One of the crash vessels contained a full technical readout of the Emperor's fortress. A map of the bad guy's house. Nice. One of the Empire's top scientists during the war upgraded the fortress's defenses. He was the only non-Sith to ever see the inside. The technical readouts were lost when the scientists crashed here. His shipwreck has never been found. That's a surprising amount of top secret information. Republic SIS raided an Imperial intelligence base on Nar Shaddaa. This information was among dozens of classified data files they recovered. Those technical readouts are critical to infiltrating the Emperor's fortress. We will not fail. <laughs> I'm headed for the main Republic base. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet me there. Liha Nerez out. Sorry I couldn't meet you. We've got a full-scale Imperial invasion on our hands. They caught us by surprise. Tell me your position. I'll come to you. I'm defending a forward outpost, but our support team is pinned down closer to you. I'm sending the coordinates now. You're looking for a detachment from the 301st Infantry led by Sergeant Rusk. His squad is being overrun by Imperial probe droids. I'll find your friends. A few probe droids shouldn't pose much of a threat. These droids are set to rush targets and explode when they get close enough. Have to hand it to the Empire. When it comes to killing people, they're innovators. Sergeant Rusk has vital information we need. I'm counting on you to keep him and his men alive. May the Force be with you. Liha Nerez sent me. Looks like I got here just in time. No worries, Master Jedi. I was prepared to hold this position indefinitely. Sergeant Fiddleton Rusk, 301st Infantry. My squad's at your service. There's no more squad! We're all that's left! We're a squad until I say otherwise, Private. Now on your feet. Liha said you're working with us. How did you get trapped here? Our objective was to secure Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Target achieved. Imperial counterattackers pursued us here. Squad fatalities, 66.4%. Enemy fatalities, 100%. Hang on! I'm picking up a fresh wave of probe droids outside. They're headed this way. 
Keep him alive. I'll handle the droids myself. Get behind me, Private. Thank you, sir. Here they come! Enemy fatalities, 100%. You can come out now, Private. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank this Jedi for doing your job, soldier. I'm just glad you're safe, Private. Any soldier trashing the Jedi gets a punch in the mouth from me. That's a promise. These are the Imperial Survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Leha Nerez wants to see them. I'll return to base and reconstitute my squad. We'll meet you at our coordinates ASAP. Stay sharp out there. This is General Callan Green, Republic High Command. I just arrived in orbit above Hoth. Quite a mess down there. I'm told you commandeered some men from the 301st Infantry for your classified operation. The Imperial Offensive left us in bad shape. We've been scratching your back. Now we need a favor. The Jedi are always willing and ready to assist you. Scout teams detected several Imperial weapon platforms under construction in the ice fields near our base. If the enemy sets artillery that close, they can shoot down our shuttles. I need you to destroy those weapon platforms. Now. I'll move out immediately. Where am I going? You're receiving coordinates to the Imperial weapon platforms now. Good luck. General Green out. Scouts report the Imperial artillery teams are retreating. Nice work. I have a feeling I'll need you again before this is over. Hope you're planning to stick around. My mission could take me anywhere, General. If I can help you, I will. Understood. I'll be in touch. General Grain out. I have the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. I understand Sergeant Rest's squad paid dearly for these. Meaty One, please analyze the maps. Find any profile that matches a Pythar-class Imperial shuttlecraft. The Medes are pleased to meet you. They're great fans of yours. I didn't realize I'd become a droid celebrity. Everyone's famous to somebody. Ever since I built the Medes, I've been teaching them Jedi history, philosophy, everything. Someday, the Medes will prove that even droids can use the Force. If a droid became Force-sensitive, that would be extraordinary. The Council doesn't believe me, but I think it's already happened more than once. Throughout history, certain droids have achieved well beyond their design limitations. I believe the Force is the answer. Droids who go long enough without memory wipes develop personalities. Couldn't they develop more than that? I think you're onto something, Leha. You're the first member of our order to admit the potential. Even Master Braga is skeptical. <laughs> You found something? Let me see. Hmm. The Empire recently discovered a crash site matching the scientist vessel. Imperial forces are excavating the wreck at an ice cavern nearby. We need to move fast, and we'll need reinforcements. What are the odds this is the same vessel we're looking for? The level of effort the enemy is putting into that excavation can't be a coincidence. I'll contact Sergeant Rusk and inform him of the situation. You and I will hit the enemy from two directions. I'll enter the cavern at these coordinates. You go in at this entrance. We'll meet in the middle. Don't worry, Meaty. The Force is with us. I'll see you at the cavern. Impatience got the better of me. I blundered in here like a Padawan. The heavy turrets were an unpleasant surprise. All those turrets, just for us? I'm touched. You were surrendering, Jedi. I suggest you keep that promise. Give us a moment, please. I need to explain the situation to my friend. You've been shot. Is it bad? I'll survive. For now. Turns out, the Imperial in the Hollow is more interested in capturing than killing us. Keep him talking. Trust me. My patience is at an end. Lay down your weapons or my men will destroy you. Those uniforms. You people aren't standard Imperial military. I am a member of the Emperor's personal guard, as are the men under my command. The soldiers you face are specially trained to kill Jedi, and they outnumber you. Not anymore, Imperial scum. They tricked us. Kill everyone! Got here as soon as we could. Had to engage some Imperial patrols on our way, but nothing serious. 
Nothing serious. Privates Vanth and Edder don't know what day it is. We're lucky to all be alive. Shut it down, Private. I don't tolerate insubordination. All of you, please listen. I know you've been through a lot. I understand your frustration. But a good Jedi, a good soldier, puts emotions aside to do what's necessary. To say the fate of the galaxy depends on us is no exaggeration. We must hold together. Keep that up, the Republic might make you a general. Let's honor this Jedi by giving our all. This is the scientist's vessel. And look what I found hiding under a dead Imperial officer. The rest of your unit is dead, Imperial. Start talking, or you'll join them. Please, I don't know anything. I'm just a computer tech. The Empire sent you here for a reason. Let's start with that. My job was to slice the databanks of this old starship, but the White Moor beat us to them. They lifted the whole network. The pirates stole the ship's databanks? They took everything valuable, but they missed the computer decryption file. They can't read the databanks without this. I'll be taking that. The White Maw maintains a depot inside a crashed dreadnought. Everything they loot goes there. At least our objective is clear. The pirates secure their depot with ray shields. We'll have to find some way past them to reach those databanks. The media scouted White Maw territory. They located two reactors buried beneath the ice. They're no doubt powering the ray shields. If we destroy the reactors, we can enter the pirate depot. Sergeant Rusk, head for these coordinates and destroy the reactor there. My friend will destroy the one at these coordinates. If your squad runs into trouble, contact me. Likewise, Master Jedi. I'll escort our prisoner to the Republic outpost near the Starship graveyard. The Medes will perform reconnaissance on the Dreadnought. When both pirate reactors are destroyed, meet me at the outpost and we'll plan our assault. May the Force be with us. Hope this isn't a bad time, Master Jedi. We took out the other reactor, but General Grain just alerted me to a secondary objective. The White Maw has a series of munitions dumps here. Scouts report those weapons are headed for the Dreadnought. General Grain believes the pirates are reinforcing. He ordered me to hit those munitions dumps. Thought you might want to join in. I don't want the enemy well-armed when we assault that dreadnought. Transmitting coordinates to you now. If you can hit at least half, my men will handle the rest. We'll rendezvous with you at the outpost when this mission's complete. Sergeant Rusk out. A Jedi? Never killed one of your kind before. He sounds pleased. I'm not sure that's good. This should be interesting. If by interesting you mean dead, then yes, you should find this very interesting. I like your skin. I think I'll wear it. <laughs> it's nothing personal. We have to kill you. White Maw bosses don't forgive failure. Not in their natures. The Gendai got no regard for life, not even their own. Of course, it's easy for them. They're indestructible. I've never heard of your leaders. Introduce me to them. Oh, they wouldn't like that. And neither would you. They can't die, but they enjoy killing even more than me. Come on, boys. Let's keep the bosses happy. The medias report the pirates' ray shields are down. Our goal is within reach. Any sign of Sergeant Rusk or his men? I expected them back by now. We were hitting the White Maw's weapon supply depots. I suspect they'll arrive any moment. I worry we asked too much of them. The men serving with Sergeant Rusk seem unhappy. Master Jedi, destroying the pirates' weapon depots took longer than expected, but the mission was a complete success. Squad strength remains at 100%. We've got you to thank for that. We had to go it alone. <laughs> Always happy to lend a hand, Private. This is a full scan of the Dreadnought. The technical readouts are currently under minimal guard. Unfortunately, that area lies directly between two large forces, White Maw Pirates and Imperial Strike Teams. Which side has the advantage, the Pirates or the Imperials? They're at a stalemate. The Imperials have superior heavy weapons, but the Pirates are unnaturally resilient. 
Scans indicate the pirate leaders are an alien species known as Gendai, virtually impossible to kill. Sounds like a challenge. I will secure the technical readouts if you and Sergeant Russ keep those forces occupied. Which enemy would you prefer to face? I'll be fine either way. How can we minimize casualties to your squad, Sergeant? The pirates lack discipline. They'll panic under pressure, make mistakes. That leaves the Imperials for you. Perhaps you can learn more about the Emperor's personal guard. Here are the coordinates to intercept the enemy forces. Once you engage them, I'll retrieve the technical readouts. Be careful facing the Imperials, my friend. May the Force be with us. I hoped you would come. Our prior meeting terminated unsatisfactorily. Surrender, and you will be treated well. Resist, and, well, you know the rest. Why take me alive? What does the Emperor want? Even if I could answer you, I wouldn't. I serve my master's will. He doesn't know. He's just following orders. Like a droid. I gave you a fair chance, and you refused it. Men, kill this Jedi. I did it. I secured the technical readouts of the Emperor's Fortress. They contained schematics of its entire defense grid. Between this and the cloaking device prototype you recovered on Balmora, we have everything we need to capture the Emperor. This is a great day for the Jedi Order. Good work, Leha. Meet me at the main Republic base. Leha Naraz out. It's a wonder all your men survived such an enemy. How did you defeat the Gendai? Superior tactics, and a dozen thermal detonators. If that Gendai is still alive, I guarantee it wishes it wasn't. We couldn't have done this without you and your men. Your service has been exemplary, Sergeant. You and your men brought the Republic a great victory. The heroes of Hoth. I finally get to meet you in person. General Grain, been a while. Hard to believe you and I started in the same squad. Still a ground pounder, huh? Wouldn't have it any other way. It's honest work, sir. I didn't realize you and the General were comrades. We had some short-lived adventures back during the war. You can hardly tell that left leg isn't real, sir. The medtechs did good work. The 88th Armor Battalion is on its way. The 301st Infantry is being rotated back to Coruscant. I can't waste a soldier like Rusk on shore leave, so I'm assigning him to you. For how long, sir? Until the Sith Empire is defeated. The Sergeant has served us well. We'll gladly take him. The transfer is effective immediately. Good luck. My shuttle is small. There's hardly enough room for myself and the Medes. Perhaps Sergeant Russ should travel with you. Be honored to. Look forward to learning from a superior warrior. Excellent. I will deliver these technical readouts to Master Braga. You should contact him as well. May the Force be with you, my friends. I'll requisition my gear and meet you at your ship. Grab a bunk and make yourself at home. As ordered, Master Jedi. Master Braga, Liha Nerez is on her way with the technical readouts to the Emperor's Fortress. I knew you two would be unstoppable together. A Republic soldier who helped our mission joined my crew. Good. We'll need capable soldiers, at least for a little while longer. Your successes on Hoth and Balmora have been nothing short of extraordinary. Our plan to capture the Emperor is already taking shape. Come back to Typhon, my friend. We'll discuss the particulars here. Master Braga Art. Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. This is the beginning of the end for the Sith Empire. We'll be the dawn that breaks the night. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Dromund Kaas. 
Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. Redeeming the Emperor? You're nothing if not ambitious, Master Braga. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised concerns. I thought you supported this plan, Master Satil. I do, but I don't speak for all Jedi. I must ensure their voices are heard. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar, we discussed this. You should be in the Kulto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during those healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. He was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. You didn't tell me about this vision when he first shared it with you? The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take him on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. The Emperor's Fortress is no place for a wounded Jedi. Better me than you! That will be enough. I fear emotions have clouded judgment. I've known this Jedi since he was Master Orgus's Padawan. He has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt his loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Maybe it would be better if someone else went in my place, just to be safe. You're essential to our mission's success. I will not leave you behind. No, this is wrong. I know what I saw. Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us. <laughs>